right, we're checking out the only game where as the potholes grow, so does my regret, it's GTA. We wanted to put vehicles up against growing, transforming potholes, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. Because potholes and the obstacles that surrounded them apparently weren't horrifying enough for me, now Alex has found a way to have the potholes transform over time. Beyond dealing with all the normal obstacle insanity, now as time goes by, the potholes continue to get larger and larger. Sometimes you want the potholes to be small, but sometimes you need them to grow larger in order to get rid of some of the obstacles as they get sucked into the black hole. And just like the obstacles get sucked into the black hole, Alex has given us all these different vehicles to suck my soul out of my body. Only one can make it to the end though, so let's do this. We got a real problem. My worst fear has been realized, and now Alex has found a way to turn potholes into living, breathing beings every 10 seconds. Potholes expand. Great. It's only like 200 feet away and I can already see the windmills of destiny turning in my direction. Okay, so I guess what, drive on top of the teleporter? Doesn't teleport. Oh, it's a timer. Okay. So go through the... You, you, you kidding me right now? <laughs> Alex, you, can't, you gave me a car that came a bit to the side. Hold on, you think I would just give up? Are you crazy? Come on now. <laughs> if I can't go in forward, we'll just go in backwards. One way or the other, I'm gonna try and shove this square peg into the round hole. There we go, I told you. <laughs> now to be fair, it is possible that by getting through the starting area, I'm just, oh. Was there a sign on the end here and it fell into the puddle? There was, it was a cone. The potholes aren't teleporting. They're like growing <laughs> like, like, like hair or like fingernails or something. Oh, look at it go. So how, how big do the potholes get? Does this, is this just infinite? Oh, they get pretty big. Can you just like go around it or? Oh, uh, did you put invisible walls around the entire, oh my God, you did. This is actually pretty smart because if there's real walls everywhere, it makes the area look very claustrophobic. I know, I know, listen, I just, I gotta check, okay? I thought maybe one day he'll get lazy and he'll just put invisible walls on one side. Yeah, while I've been doing this, the pothole has been getting, remember how big it was originally? The entire vehicle fits in it now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need a new car. If we're gonna go with the biggest vehicle, we gotta try the smallest real quick. Let me put on my helmet, that's gonna help. Whenever I wear something that looks like a banana flavored gobstopper, that's what I'm absolutely sure that it will protect that which is most important to me, which is probably not my brain. All right, so it's already started expanding. One of the cones has fallen down. Now you can see when it when it grows, it just slurps up all the stuff around it. God, it's like a hungry maw of destiny. Okay, first pothole completed. Have all the potholes been? Ah! Oh god! Oh, no. I was so happy about completing the one pothole that I got murdered. There is a lot of strawberry jam just chilling out on the ground over there. Uh oh. Uh oh. That broke the engine. All right, I want to try this one more time, but we're just going to go. Boom. First pothole. Done. Oh, oh God. Okay, so you can get... Ah, oh, God. I was going to say, you can get around the windmill. Apparently, I didn't go wide enough. Oh, is that a bunch of cops up ahead? Guys, you got to leave, man. The sinkhole is coming, and it doesn't care who you are. It'll eat everything. The road's closed. You don't understand. <laughs> there goes one cop. This guy is so close to the end. Nope, never mind. He's, he's at the end. Maybe he didn't put the... Okay. Oh, there goes the cop car. I thought maybe he hadn't put invisible walls on every single challenge. He did. So while I've been doing this, I'm going to go ahead and guess that the pothole has grown grown so long. I can almost get there. Okay, so you need to speed run this. Legitimate, just go. Because if you wait too long, the potholes get so big, I don't even know if there's a car that can get past some of these if they go infinite. So just go past the cop. Sorry, oh, actually I saved his life just now. Your buddy's gonna wish that he had gotten hit by a, a sad quad because he doesn't, oh, he's walking back toward the pothole. I just, I saved his life for nothing. Dude, don't do it. Well, well, at least they both fell together. So then he has gigantic slowdown plates. So basically what it is, 
is there's all these challenges that are meant to slow you down so these potholes can continue growing in size. What is going on down here? Uh-oh. I assumed there was a bunch of assets up here, but they all got sucked down by the pothole because it got so big. I mean, we got hydraulics. I'll give it a shot. No. We're going to need a real car. Tacos. Ah, uh, well. Now, this may have a lot of hidden speed to it because tacos are fantastic at leaving exit wounds out the butt, so to speak. I was wrong. This is so disappointingly slow. I had thought maybe Alex put some superchargers in it or souped up the engine. I was wrong. I am just, I just got backhanded out of, I just got backhanded out of the driver's seat. In a world of bad decisions, there can be only one, well, technically two, because she's in this with me. <laughs> I hate to say it, lady, but I, I think that the windmills are right about your height. And, oh, we're rolling. Okay. So I'm assuming the potholes do not start growing until I hit the portal and then get the trigger. So they shouldn't have grown quite yet. Now I will try and keep her alive. I'm not a monster after all. Excuse me, <laughs> as I say, as I almost run down the cop. Now we just have to slalom the slow down circles. There we go, no big deal. God, it's okay though. I think we're doing pretty good. Where's Bob? I Was that Bob? Because I watched him die. I watched the other guy die too. Luckily those broken rocks softened his fall. He's sleeping like a baby. I'm just triple checking, all right? My plan for this was it's so long that I would be able to catch one part of the pothole, um, but instead that girl is using her skull like a hydraulic jack and trying to pop our limo back over on its wheels. Okay, if I have a perfect run, can I get past that pothole? Oh God, oh boy, we can save this. There we go, no big deal. Watch the knees, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm rear wheel drive. That's bad, oh God. Oh, please don't do it, don't do it. Let me, let me wiggle, let me wiggle the limo on here. Don't get bigger, no. <laughs> the two cops are like, now you know how we feel, Gray. Oh, this is a good run. This is a good, well, it's a pretty good run. You can see I've lost a little bit of glass, but it's fine. Oh, this was a terrible idea. We need an even faster car. I've got a problem. And the only prescription is whiplash. I love that the tag says shopping. Like the benefit to this is how many groceries you can put in the back. Well, it's not, it's not really fast per se. Uh, but it is pretty long. The handling is what you would expect from like an Eggo waffle container with an engine strapped to it. This thing isn't really known for its aerodynamics. This thing has more, oh, there goes, there goes Bob. Oh, Bob is laying right on top of the rebar. Oh, Bob is sliding into the rebar. We're going for the street vehicle. You know what they say about a street fight. The street always wins. Literally in this case, because the street is the thing. Are you kidding me? The street is the thing that is the most difficult challenge. Obviously there's obstacles and they're pretty agonizing, but getting to jump the ever growing potholes is going to get to the point where a very few select number of cars even have the slightest chance. Look at how wide it already is. Oh the hungry maw of the earth. It wants dinner and great. Oh God, it's on the menu. There we go. Oh, we're drifting our way to victory. That was close. All right, Streetmobile. You treat me well, I'll treat you good. We're going perfect run. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, we're okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, that may have shaved a couple of seconds off a of perfect run, but uh, you know, that just makes the potholes slightly larger. Wow, this is going absolutely terribly. But I did stick the landing and I still have my hood. That's gotta count for something. I have no idea how that did not slow me down. A big jump, oh yes! Yes, ah! Oh, there goes the hood. <laughs> that ain't good. I can only imagine that my hood ended up just. Oh my God! Was that a cement mixer that just fell into the pothole? Yep. 
This whole pothole has gotten way out of hand. And there's still invisible walls. I don't think there's any way I can make this. But I came this far, I have to try. No. Okay, run's looking good so far. Most of most of the car. I shouldn't have said anything. We're gonna use a different car. I am burning through cars over here. Heck yeah! Oh yeah. It's the red, white, and blue. Oh god. <laughs> That was the fastest road to failure I think I've ever taken. Ah, yes, I booked a trip with my travel agent. We're going to the country of disappointment. And good jump. Okay. The front end lifts up pretty good. So as long, God, as long as I can get some decent bounce on the jump. Yeah. There we go. Maybe this isn't so bad. I'm gonna try and cut. Oh, that was awful. That was a terrible idea. Terrible idea. No! Okay, this is probably my best run. Like, I have made it to the cement mixer with a ton of time left. Like, the cement mixer is still there. Well, the cement mixer was there. Are you ready? Almost got it! No! Oh, I'm needly deep so hard and so smooth. I'm gonna... Ow. Well, I, huh. I think that may be my newest record for maximum height getting ejected out of the windshield. Now I'm gonna go ahead and surf on this Bob's barricade over here. This is, this is the weirdest thing I think I've ever done in GTA and I've done a lot of weird stuff. I never thought that I would be using a barricade as a Marty McFly hoverboard. Looking good. Looking good. I want to try and get to the shortest point, but the problem is the cement mixer's in the way. Well, there goes the cement mixer. Guess we'll try it now. There we go. Got it. And nice. So what is going on here? Ow! What is this? Oh, it's like a whole, uh, like a whole traffic pattern that Alex has set up. Good for you. Wow. This is very elaborate. Oh, God. So what am I... And they do not move either. Once they touch you, look at it. They are completely immovable. All right, next pothole is over here, but it's gotten unreasonably large. There is beyond no way that I can make this pothole, but I'm not just gonna not try. So we'll do some curb boosting. We're gonna go for the corner. No, almost wall road the edge of the pothole. Okay, this run is looking good. This, that guy was hitching a ride on top of the Patriot will be all kind of weird, but whatever. Run's looking real good. I gotta wait for the, okay, there it goes, there it goes, okay. If the cement mixer doesn't go down, I can't get past this. Okay, there we go. And now just watch out. Oh, God damn, oh yeah. Oh, this is under control. Everything's fine. Watch out for the traffic pattern. I think we might be able to get this. Hold on, quarter jump, yeah! Oh, wow. Yes! How many potholes is that? I haven't really been keeping count because I've been too busy getting murdered constantly. I'm assuming these are slowdown spheres, and he has put walls here so I can't circumvent them. I have to go around in these weird hairpin turns. So he's put like everything together now. Now there's, oh wait a second, hold on, can I go? There's a little opening over here. You allowed to go through it? I just gotta check real quick to see if you- Oh, you can! Yes! <laughs> There's like one area where he has to put down an invisible wall, sweet! So now he has everything. He's got the windmills, he's got the traffic, he's got the slowdown sticks, and we still have the potholes that we're dealing with, which, uh, oh, this one isn't that bad, hold on. I can kind of get the edge right over here, right here. Aim up, and let her rip! No, get ready, because I'm going for the perfect Patriot run. Yeet! Oh, this is normal. There we go. Sticks to landing. Go through here. I cannot believe how decent the handling is when I need it to be. Just to get around all the debris and everything like that, it does that really well. We can totally make this. Yeah! Okay, just stick the roll. There we go. Didn't need the hood. Shed some weight. No big deal. Run it over because it disappointed me. Go around the hair and turns, watch out so I don't get pancaked. Oh God, there we go. You kind of have to get lucky with the windmills, but there's only one, so it's not that bad. And now, big jump. I'm not even close. We're gonna need something way faster. All right, 
We're taking the poor shot for a spin. Sports. First pothole. Easy. Even getting around the windmills is pretty easy because I, I almost go as fast as the windmills. Excuse me. Don't even slow down from doing the pothole transfer because it keeps the same plane of attack. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to have to pop the hydraulics on that like perfectly. Okay, pop it now. There we go. Now, there is a little bit of human jelly that is on the front of my car. But, uh, no, that's just like wearing sunscreen. Human- Oh, God! Oh, 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 my God, I can't believe I squeezed around that. It's like wearing human sunscreen. Okay, it's good for the- Gee. Oh, no, 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 Don't you do it. This run is going pretty good. <laughs> do not ruin this for me. <laughs> this pothole's pretty big. Gonna corner it! I could not corner it. Just like mothers cut the crust from their child's peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Alex's challenges cut the corners from my sanity. So all that's left is the peanut butter and jelly. Oh no. And the peanut butter is like agony and the jelly is like anguish. Yes! Roll it, stick it, nice. All right, now I don't know how big the next pothole is. It's possible that it's so big that we're not gonna be able to make it. But this run has been about as good as I can get it with this car. Ah, oh, it's pretty big, but no, still not fast enough. There's a couple of supercars. Which one will be the one? Oh yeah, you look like someone used a banana split like camouflage. This is called speed. It's got more ease in it. That means it's faster. Okay. I like the way the engine sounds. Whoa, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Oh! Even though I've gotten slapped across the mouth a couple times by the, <sighs> you don't even want to know how many vertebrae. Oh, right in the teeth. You don't even want to know how many vertebrae I just dislocated. That's all right. The G forces from the acceleration on this thing will put those right back into place. It's like, uh, it's like a free chiropractor, see? That's what an Alex board is. That, and it's a, oh God, it's like a free psychological examination too. <laughs> it can tell you whether or not you may be slowly going insane. Okay, cement mixer's falling, here we go. Go, 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 go. And this is a terrible run. Jump it, yep, still worked. Great, I'm stuck behind the guy going 50 in a 50. Get a little bit of speed here. Pray to God that guy disappears. The run has to be even more perfect. I fought against potholes and I fought against transformers, but I've never fought against transforming potholes before. Get ready. I have been at this for a while. <laughs> We're going for the ultimate run. I cannot touch even a little bit of it's fine, it's fine. We're not gonna get slowed down. We're not gonna get slowed down that much. All right, we're gonna get slowed down a lot. It's still good. Run's still good. Sorry, Bob. Ooh, that was close. I, I almost kind of bottomed that out a little bit too hard. Okay, the second that falls, there it goes. I can see it falling. We're going, we're going. Ramping, jumping, good. Go backwards, there we go. Gotta ride it. Fast and furious style. Around the corner. Okay, I can jump this on the corner. Corner jump looks good. Couple of rolls over the corner. Thank you, God, for not putting an invisible wall there. We're back on the road. Watch out for the slowdown sticks because at this point, I, if I can do this perfectly the rest of the way, I'm, I might have a chance. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Curb boost. Edge it. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> What a painful run! But that means that whether or not the potholes will eat the rest of the planet, we have a winner! Well, the potholes are going to devour humanity, so maybe I won't have to feel the pain anymore. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.